Hello and welcome to a new series brought to you by ISCA Engineering. In this new series, we'll be providing a video of a simulation and then following up with a video explanation. In our first explanation video of this series, we will go over the simulation of the electromechanical relay or control relay, as well as a few other principles of the device. Before we get started with the video, if you're not subscribed to our channel, then please subscribe, comment, and like the video. Also, hit the notification button to stay up to date with new videos that are uploaded. Now, let's begin with the video. A relay is an electrically operated switch that opens or closes a circuit, either electronically or electromechanically. A relay consists of a coil, an armature, a spring, movable contact, and fixed contacts. The way the control relay is displayed on a ladder diagram is noted by a circle with a CR inside of it or on top. Relays will usually only have one coil but may have multiple contacts. They have a NC, normally closed, and a NO, normally open, contact. In the de-energized state, the normally closed contacts allow current to flow through until the contacts change state. In the energized state, Current flows through the normally open contacts until the contact states change. Circuits are shown in their de-energized state. That being said, when the relay coil is not energized, then the red indicating light will come on as soon as power is provided to the circuit. Whenever the push button is pressed to energize the control relay, the contact switch states due to the armature movement caused by the electromagnetic field produced. When the relay is energized, the green indicating light will turn on. Relays will typically have a wiring diagram on the side or in the front of the relay. We have here a drawing example of a relay. The 13 and 14 are where you will wire to power the relay. So with the circuit we have provided, the positive side being 14, you would take the wire from the push button and wire it to 14. Now you take a wire and wire it to the 13 and from the 13 to negative power. To wire the contacts for the indicating lights, you would take positive power to 9 or 12 and take another wire and wire it to 1 or 4 and then connect it to the indicating light. For the green indicating light, since you already have positive power on the 9 or 12, then all you would have to do is wire a wire from 5 or 8 and connect to the green indicating light. The result of the wiring should look like this and will operate like this circuit. This concludes the explanation for the electromechanical relay. Knowing how these relays work will help in finding the right one for your application. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave it in the comment section below. In the next video, we will be looking at a garage door simulation. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at ISCA underscore engineering underscore. The links will be provided in the description. There we post daily content on electricity, controls, automation, and much more. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.